Hi, and welcome back to the Attachment Project series on the Disorganized Attachment Style. This video follows up on our previous one on how the Disorganized Attachment Style develops and examines one specific area that can be particularly impacted by this attachment style, your romantic relationships. If you suspect that you may have a disorganized attachment style, then make sure to take our quiz. It's free, easy to take, and gives you your report within minutes. Knowledge of your attachment style can help you put your thoughts and actions into context and help you start the process of change. Right now, though, let's take a look at how a disorganized attachment style can impact your relationships. First things first, disorganized attachers desire romantic love. However, due to their early experiences, they also expect to be rejected or hurt by their romantic partners. In a relationship, a disorganized attacher may see their partners as a source of both love and fear, which causes them to swap between seeking closeness and pushing them away. Unfortunately, this may cause the disorganized attacher to behave unpredictably and dramatically in a relationship. What's more, a disorganized attacher may be prone to seeking out romantic relationships that mirror the circumstances of their childhood. Thus, they might end up in re-traumatizing situations because they're used to confusing love and fear. Although it's challenging for disorganized attachers to let someone into their lives romantically as they risk being vulnerable, they do have the potential to lead fulfilling, satisfying, and secure relationships. They may just need to do some personal or professional work, as well as recognize their triggers in relationships. Understanding your relationship triggers may help you to preempt how you'll respond to certain situations, such as pushing for closeness and intimacy and the needing to escape, and replace your actions with more adaptive ones. Remember, the disorganized attachment style wavers between avoidant and anxious traits, depending on mood and circumstances. If you align more with the anxious attachment style, then a partner seeming more distant than usual, neglecting or forgetting important events that are important to you, such as anniversaries, perceiving that they're paying too much attention to someone else, failing to notice something different about you, such as a new dress or perfume, working later than usual, or not being able to meet you for dinner, might trigger your disorganized attachment traits. Any of these triggers could cause you to behave maladaptively within the relationship, so you could end up obsessing about over partners' actions, worrying excessively and losing sleep, feeling empty, or believing that your partner is cheating and punishing them for it. However, if you're more aligned with avoidant attachment, a partner asking probing or personal questions, wanting to meet your family, feeling like they're too demanding of your time, and perceiving that you're being criticized or judged by a partner may cause you to pull back from the relationship. You may respond to these triggers by attempting to escape your partner by over-engaging in work or hobbies, or by pushing down your feelings and avoiding your partner. You may also be prone to ghosting someone that you're in a relationship with. Remember, despite all this information, you have a lot to offer a partner. You may just need to do some work so that you're able to feel secure enough in the relationship to recognize this fact. What do you think about the typical traits of a disorganized attacher in relationships? Do you find that you identify more with anxious or avoidant traits? If you found any of this information overwhelming, don't forget to check back in with yourself using our guided meditation video. Also, for more details on how the disorganized attachment style affects how we behave in different circumstances, check out our videos on disorganized attachment and friendships and in the workplace. Also, don't forget our disorganized superpowers and compatibility videos, and make sure to check out our comprehensive book, Attachment Styles, Ultimate Guide and Workbook, for more information and exercises on all of the attachment styles and how they function in a range of different domains. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.